Well hello again, welcome back to the review channel. Apologies, it's been a little while since I've done a video here. Uh, but today I want to talk about a new knife. Now, you're pretty used to me using the Condor Bush Law. I've used this for probably four years now pretty much. It's built shelters, processed firewood, it's done everything. Um, kind of on a few trips recently where I've not been able to take an axe because of the long walk or public land or whatever, um, I've wanted something bigger. Uh, something to substitute ha not having that axe. So I've got and bought the Condor Hudson Bay. So let's have a little closer look at that. So here's the bush law you've seen me using a hell of a lot. And here is the Hudson Bay. So I brought my um, bush law with me today because a lot of people are going to have similar bushcraft style knives of a similar size. So you can get a bit of a, a kind of idea about the Hudson Bay and why I got it. Now just to go over a few of the measurements, the um, total length of the bush law is 23.4 centimetres, the full length of the Hudson Bay is 33.4. Now that gives you a blade on here of 10.9 centimetres and 21.4 on here, so it's significantly bigger. It's significantly thicker as well with the bush law coming in at 2.8 mil and the Hudson Bay at 4.8 millimeter. And you've got a, a drop point on here as well. Uh, if you do want to know, the height of this is 3.1 centimeters and this is 5.3. Uh, both of them, I believe, are 1075 high carbon steel. And this is a Scandi, this they say is Scandi stroke convex. So yeah, it does feel that way. Now it does have quite a lot of weight to it, it's 410 grams compared to 165, so you definitely notice it, but that is a lot less than um, carrying a knife and an axe. Now the great thing about this knife, they've got a few of this sort of size, but this is the one I really wanted, and it's only about 10 pounds more than a bush law. Uh, I think I paid 75 pounds. Now the things I liked about it, it's got quite a nice belly on here for splitting wood, uh, the drop point, and you've got this kind of area here that stops you from uh, sliding down onto the blade when you choke up. They don't all have that. Now you can see it doesn't have a lanyard hole on it like this and like some of the machetes. So when you're swinging around you can't kind of loop it onto yourself. Um, so one minor uh, drawback. You've got this nice kind of patina on here like a hand forged style. Though I'm pretty sure it's not hand forged. Now if I put the sheaths on here give you a look at them. Get the leather sheath with it. On the bush law I've put on a castrum dangler. On here you have a, a belt loop attached to it. But uh, yeah, it's a nice leather case. Very sturdy. Do like the cases they do with these. I think condors are a great value for money. Now whether you use that belt loop or not, it's gonna be down to you. It's quite a big thing. It's gonna get in the way a bit, but um, I'm sure there's situations where you would want to do that. Okay, that's a little look at the measurements, etc. So um, I think now I'll just give it a little bit of a go. Now I've got a big bit of chestnut here and it does have a knot in it as well. Though it does have a shake going through it as well, makes it a bit easier. And you can see if I was using the bush law, well it's going to be very hard to bat on that. Because the wood is basically longer than the blade itself. So you would have to do sections. Now with the Hudson Bay, you can see there's plenty of blade there compared to the wood. And with it being quite wide, you get a lot of room for battening. That drop point helps as well. Now I have used this on a couple of camps already. I've done some battening with it. Um, used it up here on my last camp at the wood store over there. I took it um, down to Sussex when I last camped with Mark as well and um, used it chopping at a tree that we took down, a um, dead ash tree. Uh, we'd sawed into one side and we had to kind of check, take a chunk out the other side and we didn't have an axe. Um, and it did a very good job. The blade is still very sharp, maybe blunted very slightly there but still sharp. So yeah, I'll uh, give you a go. So I'm not going to do it across the shake, I'm going to do it close to the, um, the knot here.
That wasn't too hard at all. I just want to go easy because it's got a shake in it. You can see that can take a beating. That thick blade can really take it and it wedges open that wood really easily. Now the spine on this is not super sharp. I'll probably grind it a little bit myself. It will do a ferro rod, but um, yeah, it could probably do with a bit of grinding just to do it a bit better. But I would probably have something smaller like an opener with me um, that would do that if I'm uh, carrying this. Now I've got a nice piece of dead pine here. So I was just gonna give it a few whacks, just show you what destruction it does. So you can see it's really taking a bite out of there. Um, in a better position than I am right now, it'd probably do a bit more. But uh, yeah, you can chop with it, definitely. You might want to do stuff this sort of size all the time, but uh, if you're not got an axe on you, you've got this and a saw, um, it's going to be good for taking down this size and smaller dead trees. Now you probably wouldn't use this for more intricate work like carving and feather sticking, but um, if I give it a little go, just on my lap here. So you can get some quite small curls there. I'm going to choke right up for doing that sort of thing with it though. This is just a chestnut laugh I've got here, so not the most ideal for doing this, but uh, yeah, it's possible, it's certainly possible. So just a short video of the Hudson Bay today, um, just wanted to show you guys it um, and my reasoning behind buying such a, a monster knife. <laughs> um, I think it's a great price, the, the shape and size and everything is ideal for what I want um, and it's a good looking knife too. Uh, so far it's performed well, it seems pretty hard, I've not had to sharpen, I've not stropped it yet either. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to show you guys it, um, give you an idea of the size and that, because I know people are asked when I start using it on camps and stuff more. And um, I do have one more Condor knife, but we'll uh, look at that another time. I'll give you a sneak peek. So you've seen the bush law, and now the Hudson Bay. Next is going to be that beast. <laughs>